I'm having the worst hair day ever of all the entire world. That is why it's in a pile on top of my head and I don't care. <laughs> I can't believe it's the end of November. I say that in every favourite video, but yeah. Bit of everything today, makeup, skincare, and some... Would you call it fashion? Fashion slash clothing kind of things. I'll start with makeup first. And it is the Maybelline Colour Tattoo 24 Hour, the cream eyeshadows. I've got two. I've got this pink one, which is in pink gold. And I've got the on and on bronze. I would say this is probably the most popular one. The reason I love these is because I never give myself enough time to get ready in the mornings and these are the easiest things to use. So effortless um, and quick and easy and for me that is perfect. I would use my fingers and it's just put it over my eyelids. But yeah, literally put them on and you're ready to go and that's what I like. And they're also really nice. If you've got a little bit more time, they're also really nice to use as a base colour. I really like using cream eyeshadows as a base for my powdered eyeshadows. I tend to see that my eyeshadow will last longer if I've used the cream as a base, so yes. And they're really, really nice and affordable as well. I can't actually remember how much they are, but I know they're not overly pricey. Um, but I'll show you the actual colour. This is pink gold, just a really, really pretty, subtle, baby pink kind of colour. It's almost like a natural colour on the eyelid, very subtle, perfect for every day. And this one is on and on bronze. I'm really loving gold and like brown colours at the moment for eyes. I just think they, re they work really, really well with blue eyes um, and just really make them pop. So that is it for makeup actually. As you know, I don't really like to use makeup wipes to take my makeup off. I do if I'm being lazy, but otherwise, no. I will use my number seven hot glow cleanser. However, this month I decided to, that I needed to start going through all of the little sample things I've got from beauty boxes. And one of the things that I tried was the Deep Cleansing Oil by DHC. I don't know if that stands for anything. If it does, let me know. <laughs> um, but the word oil on this really terrified me. I thought it was going to leave my skin really greasy and maybe make it break out a little bit. But, oh my new favourite makeup remover literally obsessed you use dry use it on dry hands and then rub it over your face and then you wash it off with like a damp cloth it removes your makeup like that it does say on here uh, don't use on your eyes however I have been it hasn't hurt my eyes or anything it just leaves my skin looking really clear no residue from the makeup on there at all and I'm obsessed with this I really want to get a bigger size of this and actually I don't think this is very expensive either I'll leave links to everything that I've mentioned down below and I know you can get this in lots of different sizes like this is the smaller size and you can get another one which is like a pump and I think the bigger one from that is a pump as well but yes I really want to get another one of these also it's really not a faff to use which also annoys me with some makeup products it's really like faffy um, but this is a literally dry hands on your face and then wash it off with like a muslin which I use the cloth that I get in the um, number 7 hot cloth cleanser and it works perfectly fine so effortless makeup removal I love it okay so it's been getting really really cold here in England recently and my woolies are out and recently or this month I have been really really enjoying Willy hats with bubbles and earmuffs. Now I have earmuffs. Ooh, these are my earmuffs. Um, I think they're from New Look. I feel like I look like a bit of an idiot when I go to work in these, but I really don't care because my ears are insanely warm. So I use these when I have my hair up because um, I can't really wear a hat when my hair's up for obvious reasons. And if my hair is down, I have two bubble hats. I've got this one, which is from New Look which is just a cream, really simple bubble hat with a massive bubble on the top. Um, and I also have this one, which is actually from um, Tesco's Men's. It's really small. I do find it quite hard to get hats because I have the he a head the size of a child, but this one actually fits really nice, and I really like the colours in it. It's like, um, it's like a burgundy plummy colour with navy blue specks for it, and it also that also follows on into the bubble as well. This one is a lot thicker than the Topshop one. I always find, and thumbs up if you agree, men's clothes are always warmer and thicker than women's. Without a doubt, their woolly jumpers and their winter jumpers, 
way thicker than women's. Tell me what that's all about. I think that's why I favour like men's clothes in winter. I really like men's jumpers. So yeah, earmuffs and woolly hats. And then staying on the clothing, if they count as clothing, kind of thing. You all know I'm obsessed with Zara, but I decided that I wanted to get a pair of jeans. I haven't, I'm not really a big jean fan. Um, I'm more of like Topshop Lee jeans, a really comfy, soft, stretchy kind of jean, which isn't really a jean, more of like a legging. But I decided that this winter I wanted to get some nice basic jeans and I have literally fallen in love with Zara jeans. The ones that I picked up were these ones. I think I've shown you these in a haul video before. Um, so it's these ones and then they've got the ripped, they've got the ripped knee. I've definitely shown you these in a haul video before, I'm pretty sure. They wear so well. Normally jeans I find on me, which is why I don't really like them, kind of, once you've worn them once or twice, start to go all wrinkly at the knee and around the bum, and I just really, really hate that, and I find it really uncomfortable. But these keep their shape really, really nicely. I just really like them. Nice classic blue jean, and they go with everything, and yes. I also have a pair that I bought last year. I've got these in the sale. These are like blue and blue, definitely not blue. Green and purple, like tartan pattern. Yeah, they're the same, um, from the same range, so the basics range at Zara. And again, they keep their shape really nice. They fit really, really lovely, and they're really soft and nice on the skin as well. Which is another thing that annoys me about jeans sometimes, is denim can be really, really rough. I don't like that. So yeah, Zara jeans. If you are looking for a pair of jeans and you haven't been a big jean fan, try out the Zara ones. They're also a bit more reasonably priced than Topshop jeans, because I know a lot of people who are fans of Topshop jeans, um, which kind of sit around the 40 to 50 pound mark. These Zara jeans, the blue ones, were 25.99, so not really a competition if you ask me. I had a really short favourites video, but you all know I like short videos, so... Oh well, wow. who cares? Not me. Sorry this video was late up. I haven't been feeling too good recently um, and I was supposed to film yesterday and went to bed instead. <laughs> um, but it's here now so yay. Don't forget all my social media links will be down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>